Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're going to look at an ASA today. This is the Planet Eclipse Pops ASA version 1. So there's a couple versions out right now. There's a version 1, a version 2, and a version 2 that's slightly different than another version 2. So what we have is the version 1, which is the original version. And the way we have it on the website is you can get it in multiple colors. As you can see here, I've got pink and orange, teal, blue, gray, green, red, purple, white. All of the version 1s in any of the colors are going to come with um, with the OOPS rail. Now the OOPS rail is required if you are planning on using this POPS on a gun that is not a Planet Eclipse gun or a Sniper or Resurrection from uh, Empire. The reason that is, is that Planet Eclipse and Empire for those particular guns, they use a T-slot on their, uh, their ASA fittings or their ASA. Uh, so their frame on the bottom of their gun Rather than using a dovetail, which is pretty standard throughout the industry, they use a T. Um, so this will not go on to a standard dovetail. So in order to get this onto a gun that has a dovetail or has nothing, you need this rail adapter, which comes with it. So the version one pops, all of the version ones, will come with this rail adapter. Now, just briefly, the difference between the version one and the version two, it really isn't anything. The version one and version two actual ASA are the same. But on the version 2, the black version 2 comes with their mini rail. And then the colored version 2s do not come with anything. They are sans rail of any type. So if you're looking for a rail that is not a T-block, or that is a T-block, sorry, and you have a gun that is not a T-block style, pick up the version 1. If you have a G-Tech or uh, an E-Tech 5 and you want to put a pops onto that, pick up the version 2 in black. And then if you have, uh, maybe you already have a rail and you just want to get a new version, get the version twos and you can get those in colors because they don't come with the rail. So that's the differences right there. But uh, if you've never been through a POPs before, they're super simple to work on. There's a release button on the side here which lets the lever slide back and forth. And this is what is going to degas or gas the system up. If you need to disassemble it, you can just slide it open and then push the button down even further and slide the cap all the way off, and that gets you to your inside here. The inside has a little post. It's got an O-ring on it that just keeps the post from falling out. And then also, let me see here. If you need to do any work to the inside, you can actually just pull the core right out. Allen key takes it out, or unscrews it. Pair of pliers, pops it out, and there's your core. Very simple core design, one O-ring on the middle, one O-ring at the bottom, and that takes care of everything. There's no internal hidden O-rings or anything like that. If you get a leak, you can replace those O-rings. You just drop the core back in after you put a little grease on it, tighten it down, take your, uh, your pin, put it through, put your O-ring back on your other side so that your pin doesn't fall out. And the pin has little recessed grooves in it so the O-ring will actually sit in those grooves and it centers the post so you don't have to worry about it being too far on one side or the other. Take your cap, put your cap on so you can line up your release pin and lock it together. Maintenance is super simple on these. Very, very easy, not hard at all, although it's been very rare that I've ever seen a Pops have an issue uh, with leaking or just going bad. Uh, one thing about them though that you will need to know is that the macro fitting, or micro fitting, macro fitting, yeah, macro fitting, um, is proprietary. It's got a very, very small thread on the back of it that seals on an O-ring. You cannot use a standard macro fitting on these. You do need to use theirs, uh, but there should be no reason that these ever break. Um, just don't over tighten them and you'll be fine. Use a standard uh, size 10 quick disconnect o-ring on the inside to make sure everything seals properly. So uh, parts are readily available for those. Um, that's pretty much it. If you're looking for a great ASA, the Pops is really, uh, I think, one of the best out there. Check it out. These are the version one Pops with uh, Oops Rail. They're available through the website. Check for color availability. Order yours now through ansgear.com.